Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Ask a Transsexual. Since I actually got a new camera, um, I thought I would, might as well be standing up and using my new camera instead of my webcam because it's, um, well, this is better quality. Uh, hopefully it won't be too dark, but uh, we'll have to see. If if it is too dark, I'm gonna have to turn out my uh, my lights. But they, well, they have all this hissing noise and stuff, and I rather not have to deal with that afterwards. So I'm just gonna try it out like this. So the first question of today's episode is: um, Do you still have your testicles? And if you do have them, uh, have you considered removing them? I do still have my testicles, I have considered removing them, but I'm not going to. Uh, like, the main purpose that I would remove them would be so I wouldn't have to take medicine that reduces my testosterone. However, I realized that when I was uh, taking injections that lowered my testosterone to like the level that they would be if I didn't have uh, testicles, what ended up having, uh, what have, what ended up happening is that I got kind of depressed. Uh, I felt like I had no initiative to do pretty much anything. Um, I felt just lack of um, energy overall. And of course my sexuality, my like my sexual, my interest for sex was at rock bottom. And uh, you don't really, really realize how much you miss that until you get back on having testosterone and you actually get horny because Sex is a great thing and it, it improves your life a lot having sex and when your sex, when your lust for sex is very low, uh, that has in itself and like not having self, not having sex itself has like a draining influence on your life, I guess you could say. So no, I'm not gonna remove them. Um, I'm gonna keep my testicles. Um, because I need my testosterone. I don't want my testosterone to go too high because I don't want all the bad parts of testosterone like hair loss and um, like bodily growth of hair and stuff like that. But uh, having some testosterone is better I feel than taking pills to reduce it than having to inject testosterone um, due to lack of it because it's a lot more complicated not only because it's hard to regulate but also because uh, testosterone injecting is uh, it's like an illegal drug yeah, I would get it illegally of course but still it's uh, it's a lot more regulations around it and I don't like feeling dependent on injections and stuff like that so um, I'm keeping my balls. Second question is have you ever experienced uh, anal orgasm? Uh, no, not really. Um, well, I've had some really good times when I felt like I was going to orgasm, but I, I didn't quite reach that point. Uh, so it's it's pro probably possible, but I haven't experienced it. And um, I would like to. Uh, however, when I'm having sex, to me, the orgasm for on my end is not that important because what excites me is the guy um, coming. That's the most exciting thing for me. So I just want to make him come. That's what my, um, that's what's also interesting about for me sexually. Uh, so when he comes, that makes me happy and I feel satisfied. Um, I get horny and afterwards I imagine the whole th thing and I can masturbate and come myself. But I don't feel like this is a necessary part of the actual sex. Um, and uh, so if I would have an orgasm. Um, while being penetrated annually. I guess that would be awesome, but it's it's not like a big thing for me actually. So, yeah. Third question. Is it common for straight guys to be attracted to you and wanting to date you? Oh, yeah. Um, I would say that 90% of the guys being attracted to me and coming on to me wanting to have a date or something similar, like wanting to have sex or whatever, 90% um, of them are 
considered straight. They are not attracted to guys at all. They, some of them are attracted to penises, but they're not attracted to what's attached to the penis, which is the male thing. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what they like in me is that I have a penis, but I'm still like a girl. So, that's what they like about it. Um, I would still consider them straight, because if, if they... If they like me because I am and have hair as a girl, and then they're not attracted to the male part or to the male uh, gender, and thereby they're not bisexual or gay. Uh, some guys that are attracted to me are bisexual, but a lot of girls that are attracted to me are, well, of course, they had to be bisexual. Um, but I'm, I mean, they're, they're attracted to me as a girl, and not that's. Um, not as a guy, so uh, mostly it's straight guys actually. A lot of the time it's actually like the first time they see me and then they realize oh my god she has a penis, what does that make me? And then there's all these questions uh, like okay does this mean that I'm actually bisexual but I'm not attracted to guys, uh, what does that leave me? Um, and, and so on, I think that's natural because uh, she doesn't exist in the nature. Um, we came along as a scientific, um, I don't know what to call it, experiment. <laughs> uh, we are like these uh, fantasy creatures with uh, special superpowers. We have tits and femininity and dicks. And uh, that's really cool because you can be that stuff today. You couldn't for like, I don't know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, it wasn't possible. But now it is. And, um, I think it's really cool and it's very good for me because I'm very happy the way I am. Uh, I wouldn't be happy being a guy and I wouldn't... Well, I would be happy if I was a girl and I uh, had a female genitalia and um, it was working as it should but it just too big a risk for me. I don't want to risk what I have. And, um, so I'm very happy like this fantasy-like creature or whatever you want to call it. That's the three questions for today, everyone, and um, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you soon. Be back next week. See you guys. Bye.